Hello again. So uh, we're going to be talking about arrays and objects today. Uh, we'll just talk briefly about what they are, how they work, then go through some examples. Um, so again, we're going to have our code in within script tags, tags um, in our HTML, and we'll view whatever we're going to do within the console. So just going to quickly check this and yeah that works so right so what are arrays arrays are basically list um, list like objects what this means is uh, there are times where you have a group of data that you want together right and um, creating a separate variable for each data is going to be cumbersome and that's in addition to the fact that even if you created an, uh, variables for each data there's no way for you to um, group them together they're going to be isolated so arrays are like quick fixes for this where you can bundle um, data together and store it as just one variable and that variable holds basically the collection of the data you think or you want in a group right so these are how arrays um, are defined and basically you can have a collection of whatever you want um, the thing about arrays in JavaScript is that you're not limited to one type so you can have an array that has the string it has numbers it has other arrays objects basically anything uh, as much as you want and each value or each data is separated by a comma that's what make them um, unique so you have each you have here we have a string or a character a we have numbers four six we have another string Jeff so um, all of these are separated by commas and they are individual um, data values within my array so yeah this is um, assuming we want to view this array as usual we console log and you can see our array here so yeah now this it's all well and good that uh, we can always group data together and view them from our array but what if we wanted to get just one element for example what if I just needed Jeff and I wasn't um, interested in these right so for each element or for each value or data in an array it has an index this index corresponds to the position of that value within the array remember that arrays are ordered um, list of data so just like you would have a list and you number one two three every item on your list has a number and this is an ordered um, selection the thing about arrays though uh, is that the first number has or the first value has an index of zero uh, this is basically just saying arrays count from zero and not one as humans we're used to counting from one if you have a list of items you would start counting from one one two three and on and on but array starts from zero so that means the first element in your array has an index of zero it's basically at position zero not one and this is really important because uh, if you're counting um, if you count or you use indexes based on your numerical counting from one then you're always going to be off for example I'm just going to show um, an example of this so doing this shows us a right because a is at position or index 0 which is the first position and then the second element or the second value in our array is at index 1 so if we wanted to get that we would use 1 and what this means is since our array starts counting from zero the final element or the final value in your array is going to be at the at um, an index one less than the length of the array so basically this array has four data right it has four values the final um, value is going to be at index three that's four minus one so your your array can never have an index that is the same um, number as the length of the array I hope that makes sense uh, so basically just to recap you start counting um, array elements from zero 
the first element is at position zero and you access it using zero and then the following element is at one and it continues to the end where the last element if you if you have an array of 10 um, items the last element to be at position nine right so if you tried for example if we try to access um, the element at position four which ideally would be this but since this is an array there's actually no position four there's no item at um, index four we would get undefined that's because while we've exceeded the um, range of the array you're trying to get a value beyond what the array has so this is like trying to say i have four elements and i'm looking for the fifth something that's the fifth one so that's not really how it works but just to give you like an understanding okay so um basically uh, like I said, you access this is called um, bracket notation. You use it to access um, individual array elements, and the number here corresponds to the index of the element. And the index of the element is the position the element has in the array, considering that the first element is at position zero. All right. So um, arrays also have some. I talked about um, array.length before which gives you the the number of elements in the array for in this case right so um, there are also other methods there's um, push so with push what happens is that you append or you add an item to the end of the array I'm just going to show you this right so our array started out with four elements but we push I can add an element to the end of the array and so whenever you push it adds to the end if you wanted to add to the beginning of the array then you would use a method called on shifts right so on shift adds to the beginning and there are other methods that's pop and higher other um, um, functions with arrays but we won't be going uh, deeply into that so this is just like a very quick recap on uh, our introduction of what arrays are and for yeah we talked about how you can access um, elements in the array using a bracket rotation which corresponds to the zero index but the problem is Assuming we wanted to um, identify each element individually, we it would be um, cumbersome to do this each time. So I would have to say my array um, one, zero, one, and on and on and on. And this is just for four elements, right? So what if we had like a hundred or something? So we've talked about loops before, and basically you can use loops to iterate over an array remember that a loop is basically a repetition of something so an array has a list of elements right you can repeat uh, you can use a loop to access each element in the array so using the traditional for loop that we're used to we would have something like this remember that um, arrays are zero the um, zero index the zero base indexes so um, our loop control variable starts from zero and here we would do something like this dot length sorry right so here we can actually fix in a number here like we could fix in four here right but if we're fixing in four then if our array changes from length four to five this loop no longer works so since we've already talked about the fact that you can always use the dot length property to know exactly how many elements are in the array then it just makes sense for you to use that as your test condition All right and then we have our incremental so actually if you do this if you control log i what you're going to get uh basically it's just going to count from zero up to the length so the fact that you put my array dot length here doesn't actually mean um the 
script is going to somehow know that you're trying to access the elements of the list or your array and uh, since we've talked about the fact that you can um, access individual elements of an array using the index we would then do something like this And this gives us all the elements. So basically, what we're doing here is that we're counting from zero up to whatever our array dot length is, one less than the array dot length, and we're accessing each element at that particular position, that index, using bracket notation. Right. So this is one way to loop over an array. And since we're using array dot length, it doesn't matter if we um, attach other elements to the array it's still going to loop over everything so you can see we don't have to change anything here anymore right then they actually have another way to loop through arrays as well and that's the for of loop right i'm just going to show you how it works quickly um i'll comment this out this is the for of loop so the for of loop is actually um Syntac um, syntactically it's actually much simpler than the traditional for loop because here we don't even have to use bracket notation we just log the elements so what actually happens is that the for up loop the for of loop iterates over the values themselves so it's actually looping over the values of the array itself and then it does all the hard work for you so you don't need to put you don't need to set a control uh, a loop control variable you don't need to be bothered about the length of the array. You don't need to access bra um, the element using bracket notation. It's just really straightforward. So you probably prefer to use this. Either way, it's fine. There are actually um, a lot of other ways to access elements. There's a for in loop um, for each. Yeah, but we're just going to focus on this too, and particularly this one. Right. So. With this, you know how to create an array, you know how to add elements to the array using push, you know how to loop over the elements of the array using a traditional for loop or a for of loop. So now we're going to talk about objects. Um, this is how an object is declared in JavaScript using curly brackets. And objects are basically key value pairs. So um, you might think of them as dictionaries or hash hash maps or uh, basically key value pairs so an object has um, when you create an object it's also like keeping a list but in this case you're not just interested in um, the items themselves themselves you're interested in value a key something to use to identify that item actually the arrays are like if you remember at the beginning I said arrays are list like objects array are actually arrays are actually um, internally kind of like objects they are like a sub type or a sub um, part of object or you can think of them as special objects where the index is 0 1 2 for example are the keys and then the values are the ones you put in normally but for the objects normally you could have something like this You could have something like this so just like with arrays you separate each key value pair using um, commas and um, the important thing is that you need to have a key the key is the first um, basically you can name it whatever you want to call it just think of it as like a variable something you use to identify your a particular value and there's a colon and then your value. The value can actually be strings or numbers. They, um, they could be arrays or they could be other objects. So you can actually do this as well. You can have a value that is an array, right? So just like with arrays, you can have arrays within arrays. You can have objects within arrays and um, the same is true you can have arrays within objects 
objects within objects and you can just keep nesting them as much as you want so we'll just see what this looks like on console right and if you check it's a bit different from how arrays are shown arrays basically just show you as um i shouldn't have deleted that but let's just quickly put something so arrays basically just show you the values right but with an object you get the key values the keys and the values so um just like with um one thing to note is that objects are not really they're not ordered they are an ordered on ordered collection so the fact that i put um, name first doesn't mean that it's actually ordered when it's saved uh so just something to keep in mind and uh when we're trying to access values for example we when we um displayed the entire objects right it shows us everything in our objects our object declaration but what if we just wanted to get the name in this case jeff you can also access particular instances or particular values in an object using the bracket notation which will be something like this in this case the um what's going to be inside the bracket is not an index but the key that you used right so the keys you used form um they're like just think of them like the indexes or rather think of indexes as keys so indexes are like keys in arrays and then in your objects they are more explicit they are explicit so in your object you'd have to actually state the key put the key but in arrays you just put the values even though they have an implicit key which are the indexes right and objects also have another way of accessing values which is called the dot notation something like this and it works the same way so um, the length property is um, this might look familiar from the from when we were doing length property, uh, length property of arrays basically it's, it's like the same thing so you can think of your array as having something um, like this you can think of your array as having something like this that corresponds to the length of the array at any given point right so um, that shows a um, pretty brief introduction to arrays and objects and um, how you can access them so we can like I said you can keep nesting we have this object I can decide to have a new array that has my array my objects and some other data right so checking this we see the first at position zero we have our array the first array we created and at position one we have the object we created and so on and so forth so um you can basically the idea is just to understand that you can nest arrays and you can nest objects within each other and you can still access them the same way so if we wanted to access just the object because in this case the object is actually at um index one right so if we wanted to just access the object we would do this and then we just get that object